Hello and welcome to Cupcake Addictions, Sophia the First Princess Cupcake Tutorial. This has been so incredibly heavily requested, so by popular demand, I'm bringing you guys this awesome little set of Sophia the First Princess Cupcakes, Sophia, her sister and a couple of their friends. If you guys love these princess cupcakes as much as I do, I would love it if you would share the video or give it a thumbs up down below. The things that you'll need for today's tutorial, I'm using a pizza cutter. I've also got just some little discs, so you don't have to have little cake discs, but you'll need something to rest each of your little cupcakes on. I've got a flat tray, a bit of our chocolate ganache, so I'm using ganache, you can use any frosting you like, and I will link to our ganache recipe in the description box below. I've got cupcakes, so I'm using three regular sized cupcakes and three miniature cupcakes. I've got a small circle cutter, some corn flour in a shaker, a few edible pearls, I've got a pair of scissors, I'm using fondant in dark pink, light pink, purple, white, teal and light teal. I've got a knife, a fondant roller, a serrated edge knife, a paintbrush and a little bit of tap water. I've also got my Sophia the First printable templates which I will also link to in the description box below. I've also got a little bit of sticky tape and a couple of toothpicks. The first thing you want to do is you want to completely unwrap all of your cupcakes, so the miniatures and also the large ones. Take your serrated edge knife and you want to just cut a flat top off each of those miniature cupcakes and then you want to just give the, a flat top to each of your larger cupcakes but you don't need to completely level these out, they just need a little bit of a flat surface to rest on. Take your knife again and you just want to round off the bottom edge of your miniature cupcakes so they're not so square. You need to put your large cupcakes upside down on the tray and then apply a bit of ganache to the flat top of your miniature cupcakes before using that to stick them onto the base of your bigger cupcakes. Mine are pretty closely matched for size, but if you've got any overhang, just use your knife just to trim off the edges so what it looks like you've got is kind of like one big cupcake dome. Take your ganache now and you just want to evenly spread it all over the cupcake. I recommend frosting these one or two at a time rather than doing the whole dozen because either your ganache or your buttercream frosting is going to start to dry out and that's going to make it really difficult to stick your fondant to. So think of it, you want to ganache and then decorate, ganache and then decorate. Sprinkle down a bit of corn flour just to prepare your surface and we're going to start with that light teal colour. So I'm just rolling mine out and I want this really nice and thin because you don't want too much fondant on these. They are after all only cupcakes or mini cakes. Once you've rolled it out nice and thin you want to cut like a triangle shape out and we're going to rest that right flush against the board as low as you can get it and smooth it down onto the ganache. Make sure if you can that you're covering up any little seam so you can't see any of that ganache poking out and then just take the back of your knife and you're going to just give it some lines to give it a bit of the same texture of Princess Hildegard's petticoat. Taking your darker teal now and you want to do the same thing so roll it out really really nice and thin and then you want to take your pizza cutter and you're going to cut like a really large wide sort of a circle. Out of that circle you want to cut a large pizza shape, so it kind of looks like a pizza that someone's had one or two slices out of. This is going to make the outer fuller skirt of Princess Hildegard's dress. You want to take your pizza cutter now and just kind of squiggle it up to give it a little bit of a, a ripply line and then just smooth that off with your fingers and then you want to pick her outer skirt up and just loosely drape it over top of that inner skirt. Now once you've draped it and you're happy with the positioning, grab your scissors and just cut along the two front edges so that what you end up with is sort of like this open petticoat. You can also trim around the bottom if you find that you're overhanging over your little cake board or your little piece of cardboard and then you just want to fan those little front edges out so that you can't see any ganache poking through but what you've got is her lovely outer skirt over top of her nice petticoat. Take the back of your knife once again and you want to give those same lined texture to that outer skirt. Take your Princess Hildegard template and you only need the top half here and then you want to take a little bit of that water and just paint a light line across the inner petticoat. Take your edible pearls now and just push them straight into where you've applied that water to the fondant. The water's going to act a bit like a glue and hold those pearls in place. To finish her off you just want to take a piece of sticky tape and your toothpick, apply the toothpick to the back of your Princess Hildegard template and just trim off any excess sticky tape before sticking her into the top of her beautiful skirt to make your finished Princess Hildegard cupcake. You're going to essentially repeat this process for our next princess, Princess Cleo. So once again rolling out your lighter pink, cutting out that nice triangle and applying it really nice and flush with the board to the front before adding your little stripes with the back of your knife. Rolling out your darker coloured pink and cutting out that nice big circle, taking the pizza cut out of it once again but this time we're not going to take that rippled edge because on the templates she actually doesn't have a rippled front edge to her skirt. Draping over the top 
cutting off any excess and just use your fingers just to neaten those sides up so that you've got a really nice neat edge to your skirt. I haven't showed you in this tutorial how to make Princess Amber but you can see her there. She is basically just the full circle of fondant with no under petticoat draped straight over that cupcake so really really simple to make your Princess Amber. Once you're happy that your outer skirt is nice and neat, you want to just run your paintbrush right up the centre line. So when you're making your line impressions on your under petty skirt, make sure that one of them is right in the centre. Once you've run your paintbrush up, you just want to apply a couple of those pearls, not all together. You want to space them apart because they're going to look like the buttons on Princess Cleo's petticoat. The same as with Princess Hildegard, you just want the top half of your template, a little bit of sticky tape on the back with that toothpick and trim off the excess before adding that straight into the top of your cupcake. Don't forget to take the back of your knife and apply those same line markings all the way around that outer skirt just like we did with the petticoat. Moving on now to the star of the show, Princess Sophia herself. So you want to take some of that white fondant and roll it out nice and thin but instead of a triangle we're going to cut quite a fat strip here. So you want to take that strip and you just want to wrap it around the base, only the base really of the cupcake needs to be covered here. And then you want to take your purple and roll it out once again really nice and thin. You're going to take your pizza cutter now and cut another nice big round circle. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Instead of your triangle, you want to cut like a couple of little triangles and just round off the edges because you can see on our template Sophia's skirt, the over purple skirt kind of has like these little folds in it where you can see the white exposed underneath. When you're applying this skirt, you want to start with the front little purple flap. So get that down first and then secure the two flaps on either side before draping the rest of her skirt over the back of the ganache. Get that skirt as close to the ganache as you can at the back and then pinch the sides together where you've got your overhang of fondant. Snip them off with your scissors and just use your finger just to smooth them down on either side. Use your pizza cutter to cut right around the base of Sophia so you've got a really nice fitted dress for her. Roll out your white fondant now and use your circle cutter to cut out a couple of circles and then from either side of your circles you want to cut out kind of like a little eye shape. You're going to need about four lots of four of these to make the flowers on her dress. So I just used a little bit of water on the back of each piece and just position them sort of top, bottom, side, side so that you've got your nice little flower detail as you can see in the template on Sophia's dress. All up I did four of these flower designs right the way around her skirt. Take a little bit more of your water now and what you want to paint here is the outline of almost two semicircles. So she's got a string of pearls that almost starts sort of in line with her belly button, swings down around her hips and then meets up at the small of her back. So you just want to paint the outline for this and then you're going to take your little edible pearls and just push them in. You'll be able to see that painted water outline in the fondant. It'll be kind of shiny so you should be able to get your little guidelines to help you push those pearls in. Once you've got all of your pearls in, once again, snip poor Sophia in half, add her little toothpick onto the back using that little bit of sticky tape and pop her in. That's your last princess ready to go. If you're making these as part of a princess party, make sure that you check out Monday's video, which is going to be our giant princess castle cupcake. I've also got a bunch of other videos on my channel, My Cupcake Addiction, which will help you completely deck out your sweet treats for your next princess party. Thanks very much for watching.